In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create your own callout in PowerPoint. Now you may wonder, why do I need a callout like this in PowerPoint and create my own when PowerPoint already gives that to me? So let's go ahead and look at what PowerPoint uh, gives us. So if I go to Insert and I insert a shape, you can see there are some callout options. I'm going to go ahead and select this. Uh, the problem I get with PowerPoint and other authoring tools are similar is that I have limited control uh, for the callout. So if I select my uh, shape here and I want to change the tail on it, you can see I just I have limited control over that as I start to stretch it out. It just doesn't look quite right. You know, if I stretched out long here. Just it just it just doesn't work the way I want it to work. I want more control over the tail and 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 how that works with the body. So let's uh, let's look at what we can do. So first is let's think about what we have for a callout. Generally you have your body area and this could be a rectangle, rounded rectangle, oval, cloud, really doesn't matter. It can be any shape really. And then we have a tail and uh, and then that's how we would um, build out our callout. So let's go ahead and build one. I'm going to insert a shape. In this case I'm just going to insert a rectangle shape. So this is going to be my body. And I want to insert another shape which I'll just use the triangle. What I like about the triangle is I can make it fat, skinny, I can stretch it out, I can uh, change the angle on it here, uh, I can rotate it, and then I can position this into any uh, angle or place that I want to position it to. So I can make uh, my call out any way I want to. And then what I would do is I select both of these. Now starting in PowerPoint 2010, you can combine shapes. I showed you in an earlier blog post how to do that. So I have an e-learning tab here. Now I'm going to go to Shape Union and select OK. And now I've got uh, my shape here. So you can see I've got my shape. This is my callout. I can format it just like I would any other shape in PowerPoint. So you can see I can do that. Uh, let's say I want to have a curvature on here. This is where I can right click. I can edit the points. And now I've got these Bezier um, curves and you can see I can I can play around with those and you can you know you can make it a little fancier but you can kind of see uh, your options here so then you can get a more organic uh, looking call out if you want to do that so you have to play around uh, with the edit points so being able to create your own call out allows you to uh, position um, the call out exactly the way you want it so let's say for example I've got this image here and I've got um, this text that I want to have in here and I want to create a call out. If I take PowerPoint's built in call out and I position it here, so then you can get this. You can see it doesn't quite, I don't really have a lot of control over how the call out looks. I don't really like that look. I want to make it kind of more here and come straight in. So I can insert my shape um, and then I can insert my other shape. And, and you can use a triangle or really anything on here. Um, you can see there's other shapes that you can use. A lot of people like to use this crescent shape. Uh, some people like to use the thunderbolt shape which is right here. I kind of like the thunderbolt because if you look at it, it th this angle is kind of nice and then you can um, move it around and, and do what you want to. But anyway we've got these two shapes. We're going to combine them and I'm going to go to my e-learning tab, combine shape union. And now I've got a call out that actually works better uh, with my content. I just need to um, move it up here. So let's, where's my text box? I'm going to move it up. And then you can see I can just, I can format my call out box. Let's do that. So now I've got uh, my call out box. It's designed exactly the way I want it. So that really comes in handy. Um, so go ahead and build your own call outs. And I think you'll find that uh, once you've got the call outs you like, the other option is just to right click and then save that as picture and then you can save um, and create as many call outs as you want and then you can reuse them in your other courses. Hope that helps.